walking and talking with Mike Smith. That's right. It's our new new segment here on Flow. Right. Uh, seven athletes tonight. Here's one of them. How are you feeling about the evening? This guy was uh, exceptional. We had a tough turnaround from the uh, NCAA meet, and we took a risk and did this. And when it works out, it feels good. But uh, definitely need to go get him some rest now. After we drug drug test him. What what? Uh... I should say we're walking to the drug test. <laughs> Number three in one week. That's okay. Three drug tests, three, uh, two titles and a record, right? So, Man, yeah. I know, right? What's, uh, oh, so what was, I, I saw the interview after NCAAs, you guys were kind of weighing out. Was there any question, uh, you know, a day or two after the meet, whether this was going to be on the calendar? Um, we, for sure, um, you know, just the, most of all, just the emotion of the, um, most of all, just the emotion of the, um, yeah, of the championships. Um, that's the big thing, right? We got Nico Young here. For, I can't have you film right now. No filming. Okay, we'll get him inside. Quick pee. So. You saw that. <laughs> um. <laughs> You want to go in there for a minute? I'm going to take a pause. See if it needs me. Mike Smith, host the 10. That's right. I feel like we just saw you. Not, not me and you, but I just feel like I was just watching you on camera talking about things that were awesome. Uh, you had seven athletes out here. Obviously, seven. Nico crushed the 27-minute barrier. What was, uh, what was, we'll start with him. What was the evening like and coming off last week? Right, yeah, uh, you know, obviously quick turnaround from the NCAA championships to the 5K, 3K double there. This was a big risk, uh, you know, running this, but if it worked out, it was going to really change things uh, for the championship season. So um, he was on board, he wanted to do it. Obviously, you, you know, you calculate the big emotional expenditure of the NCAA meet, but uh, it was uh, it was the right call and he, he handled it in a big way. And that's an amazing feat tonight and a really difficult standard to get. You, so. I feel like it's like the the responsibility of a coach is obviously the athlete's well-being, but also knowing the goals that the athletes have, right? right? And I, yeah. Nico's kind of at that point now. <laughs> Par, uh, something like Paris is on yeah. his mind, right? right? So how do you weigh that out when you're saying there's risk? Yeah, you know, it's exactly, you, you nailed it. That's exactly it. It's like, you know, it's this is the stuff, right? And if you get it wrong, you feel terrible, right? Because it's, um, you know, it, there would have been a hard 10K to run and not get much from it. And it's uh yeah those are the calls you got to make sometimes as a coach and uh you know it's the razor's edge and we see it all the time i mean you saw lots of performances tonight there were people were taking a risk on something and uh i was uh, i feel a great responsibility to these college athletes but also know that if you can um yeah if you can hit a standard like that um you know it could change yeah it could change a lot of things in your life so uh yeah we got it done the way nico ran tonight is not different than what we've seen during the whole indoor season but like when you see him push for the lead with guys like Mo yeah. and Grant like that right. what is what, what's that like yeah you know he's, well, he's, he's, a, he's a brave bold racer and we're seeing him do that in the NCAA but yeah you're taking the lead on guys who are those guys are talking about medals you know in, in Paris and to see Nico race with those guys I think it'll be a huge confidence boost for him that he's not just one of the best college athletes but he's you know potentially one of the best uh, athletes in the in the U.S. so um and, and also I mean he's it, this is you know, this is a big, this is a level he'll have to readjust to. You know, he's doing that tonight, but that doesn't mean, you know, yeah, he's, he's still got to be ready to race in championship situations for the trials. Those are different races and different tactics. So we got we still got some work to do here. You had a few guys in that race. I, I saw Woody and it looked like he was falling off with a lap to go. And then all yeah. of a sudden he, he's like finishing on the back of everybody. I know. Run, breaks 27 minutes for the first time. Yeah, he said he, he, said he was cramping uh, with 600 to go and, uh, you know, He's one of the last guys you got to worry about if they're just slightly behind the pace lights because his clothes is so good the last 400. And so uh, I didn't know he was having the cramping issues or something, you know, coming off the back. And then he just came out of, you know, depths of hell in the last 300 to, to get the standard. But so happy for him. And uh, he, again, this is like the hardest standard. And, and there's just not many 10K situations. So getting this tonight changed a lot of things. Yeah. Uh, you also had a wife out there, <laughs> who's right. now the mother of your child yeah, that uh, yeah. ran a PR. What oh, was that like that to see her out there? That was the highlight of my night. Yeah, Rachel killing it. Um, yeah, she's, she's, 
I'm coming, I'm coming. Yeah, she was incredible tonight and uh, tough, tough situation in that, in that scenario. And uh, we were um, really happy that she just raced gritty like that. I still, because the races, I still haven't talked to her a whole lot about it. So excited to hear her, her version of it. But it was really good. And when you say tough, what do you mean? You know, they, uh, they came off the pacer and it, yeah. it kind of grouped up and became tactical and everyone looked like they were hurting. And uh, when you slide off the pace really hard to like re get it going again like that. And um, Rachel, yeah, kicked down a lot of people. So that was really good. So. Any, any, is it different being uh, being mom and dad now out here? For sure. Uh, yeah, for sure. It is. It is. Uh, but we talk a lot about gratitude and just being being happy that this is the stuff we get to talk about in our lives. And no matter how a race goes, we've got... Yeah, beautiful baby girl at home who doesn't even know there was a race tonight. She's happy to see us. So, yeah. She'll see you in a couple years. On right, flow. Exactly. There you go. What's up, Nova? <laughs> Mike, well, thank you. Thank you. Uh, safe it. travels home and where we see you next. Uh, let's see. I'm sure there's a college track meet next weekend <laughs> and every weekend for the rest of my life. Ryan so. Clay, I'm sure we'll see you. That's right. Yeah, I'll be there. Cool. Thanks, awesome. Man. Thanks, Appreciate Mike. It, man.